Hello everyone, as this channel is all about value and helping my viewers to get the best deals possible, I decided to resume PC Parts Hunt series and found this deal 2080 Ti. The seller was asking 250 but it, it's an uh, old card. I decided to negotiate a little bit and get the best deal for my viewers, so we agreed on 200. But in order to understand if this is a good deal, we have to compare with other cards. So compared to 3070, which has a similar performance, but less VRAM and costs $50 more in the used market, we can definitely say that the 2080 Ti is much better deal. So I want to compare it to 3080. And these board cards, more or less, they intended for 1440p gaming. And last release games, they all use more than 8 GB of VRAM. So we'll compare the performance in the Last of Us Part 1. So here we can see the ultra presets, rendering scale 100%, no DLSS, 4 in 40p. The game utilizes more than 10 GB of VRAM and the performance difference in 1% loss almost equal, just a 5% difference. So now let's increase the rendering scale and see what will happen with the both cards will run out the VRAM. So here we can see that the CPU RAM for 2080 Ti increased which means some textures being transferred to the CPU memory. And the performance gap between two cards increased also because both cards is currently using some textures being pulled from the CPU memory and the GPU processing power in this case is more for 3080. That's why we see that the previous run was just 5% difference in 1% loss. Now it's 42%. And also average FPS increased from 25 to 30%. Now let's increase the rendering scale to 140 and see what will be the performance difference when there is even more textures being transferred to the CPU RAM. We can see that the CPU RAM for 2080 increased from 18 gigabytes to 21, which means that already like two, three gigabytes of the textures being transferred back and forth between the CPU memory and the GPU core. So in this, so in this round we can see that the performance both in average and 1% loss increasing compared to rendering scale 120 and almost 2 GB of textures being transferred to the CPU RAM. Now let's increase the rendering scale to 160 and see what will be the numbers. And we instantly notice very interesting observation that the average frame per second gap is decreasing coming from 52% to 29, which proves the fact that the more VRAM you have on your GPU and less files you have to transfer to your CPU memory, the less heat of the performance you will have. So in this case, we can see that the 3080 is losing more frames than 2080, because the 2080 can still keep that one gigabyte of files on GPU when 3080 have to transfer that files to the CPU. So the performance heat is more on 3080. So now let's see what will be the performance difference in the next game, which is Resident Evil and very VRAM hungry game. And by the way, I have three VRAM numbers here, which MSI Afterburner is showing. So I decided to put all the numbers here. One is for usage, one is for uh, allocated number. So you can see and compare the difference. So here we can see that the highest VRAM number sometimes is already coming and passing that 10 gigabyte mark, which shows that we are right on the edge for 3080, but still it's keeping the files in the GPU VRAM and managing to outperform 2080 by 1% 1 low in 17% and in average in 26. And pay attention that CPU RAM usage 11.6, and now we are going to increase that rendering scale and see what will happen the CPU RAM usage as it's completely almost the same for both cars and what will be the performance numbers when we go up in the rendering scale. Now it's just 10% increase. In the game it was showing roughly like one gigabyte of more but it's already showing that the uh, CPU RAM usage for 3080 increased around one gigabyte and we can see that the performance is going down 
now it's slower by 10% for average FPS and 16% for 1% low because 2080 Ti it still managed to keep its CPU RAM usage low which means that it's using the VRAM of the GPU where 3080 have to use both the CPU RAM and the VRAM so again you're paying more money and as soon as the games needs 10% more VRAM your card is running slower compared to 2080 Ti which cost less has more VRAM even one one gigabyte it is so now let's see what will be if we increase the rendering scale to 120 so 120 we can see that the CPU RAM for 2080 increased from 11.6 to 13 gigabyte which means more than one gigabyte being transferred to the CPU memory so now it's logical that when both GPUs out of fast VRAM and they both using the CPU memory the GPU processing power of 3080 making the difference in a favor of 3080 and we can see that 1% low is 5% faster and the average FPS is 14% faster when in previous example when only 3080 was using CPU memory and uh, 2080 Ti was comfortable which is it's 11 gigabyte the 2080 was faster which means that that 10% is that one gigabyte difference which these cards has now let's increase the rendering scale to 150 and see if we can spot the similar behavior which we noticed in the last of us games which will prove that not all the game files has a similar performance influence so in this game we can see 150 so more files have to go back to the CPU RAM and being kept there and transferred to the GPU then for 2080 Ti which still have one more gigabyte so one more gigabyte of valuable files can be kept on the GPU compared to 3080 and the situation is completely changed here compared to one 20% scaling again in this situation 38 is losing as more files more important files have to go and being kept at the CPU RAM it's more latency and it's more performance hit so average FPS coming down by 22% compared to 2080 1% loss in some scenarios is dipping to 3 FPS so which proving the fact that when you're buying the GPU you will say oh okay the 11 gigabyte is just 1 gigabyte difference but you can see that 1 gigabyte of file being kept on the GPU what kind of performance benefit it has for you for your game so it doesn't matter that you run out of the VRAM they are going to perform similarly no it depends how much of that VRAM you have to transfer to the CPU which again making it that you have to think wisely and choose the card which has more VRAM even though it's not enough for future proofing like it's not 16 gigabyte but still 1 gigabyte more than the 3080 so please let me know your ideas about this observation in the comments below and what other tests you would like to see in future so I will be happy to get that cards and test all the games which will be suggested by my viewers so the next game is the Hogwarts Legacy here we can see that the running on the ultra preset no DLSS ray tracing off the both cards has enough memory to run this game and as it's obviously the 3080 runs faster in 1% low 10% faster in uh, average FPS 30% faster now let's turn ray tracing on on low settings and we can see that the similar situation again repeating here that one gigabyte is making a huge difference even though we can notice that the CPU RAM usage increased which means that the files already being transferred to the CPU RAM and 11 gigabyte is not enough but the amount of that files being transferred is very critical so the more files your GPU have to transfer to the CPU RAM 
the more difficult it's for him or more latency for the GPU is to go and bring and use that files in the rendering process. So more FPS you will lose. That's again proving in this scenario we are losing more FPS on uh, 3080 compared to 2080. And the 1% low already 36% below and the average is 14% below of 2080. Now let's increase even more. Let's do ray tracing ultra when for both cars there will be even more files transferred to the CPU RAM. And again, perfect example. Here we go. You can see what we have here. Same situation. The more files, even though your GPU is faster, even though it's like 20% faster than pure rasterization than 2080 Ti, the more files you have to transfer to the CPU RAM, the more deep in the performance you will notice. And here again, you can see the average FPS difference 4%, 1% low difference 17%. Here is slideshow on your right, 380, 2080 still keeping it until the last scene when you will come close to this building 2080 will have similar slideshow going on it's like six frames against five frames so what's the outcome of this test it doesn't matter when your vrm going to be filled up the more vrm your card has the less heat you will notice in the performance when that vrm is filled up so the situation here, three games released recently, we filled up the VRAM. The more we have to transfer files to the CPU memory, the more FPS drops. So 3080 becoming less faster card than 2080 as soon as we pass that 2 gigabyte mark of files being transferred or being pushed to the CPU memory. Until like one gigabyte or two gigabyte, the faster card will be faster than slower card. As soon as that gap increases, then you're losing that speed of your GPU rendering and you are solely relying on the speed of your CPU memory. How fast that fi files will be transferred back and forth. So my advice to you, if you can find 2080 Ti with $250, $200, your intention to play 1440p, I can definitely recommend buying this card. Just make sure that it doesn't have any issue before buying. Test it thoroughly. Test in superposition. If you can run the mining software, run it for like 10-20 minutes for mark. Just make sure that it's run perfectly. Smooth without any artifacts, without anything. And then you will be happy owner of 2080 Ti. Which shows today that for future proofing, it's much better card than 10 gigabyte 380. So in next videos, if you have any other cards for suggestion, please let me know in the comments. My idea to taste the same 380 12 gigabyte. So we'll have all memory size tested. 10 gigabytes, 11, 12 gigabytes, and we can compare both 12 gigabytes of same card, just a small core difference, which is like less than 5% in the power of our uh, GPU core, but like two gigabytes more. And in the middle will be 2080 Ti with its 11 gigabyte. And we'll see if 12 gigabyte, which currently costs around $450, $500, mm, worth the premium of being like almost two times more than 2080 Ti, which I don't think it will be justified, but just for curiosity, I'm planning to test it also Maybe we'll test the uh, 12 gigabyte 6700 XT. So stay tuned. In the next videos will be teardown of this card where I will be cleaning it, applying new thermal paste, thermal paste, bringing it to the brand new condition. And then we'll give to one of my viewers option to buy that card for 200 from me as I paid for it. And I will cover the shipping cost within the US. Thank you and stay safe.